Welcome to the Stone Ridge Software video series for batch manufacturers. Our batch industry solutions are powered by EAV on ProBatch, running on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. In this video, we are going to be focused around company setup and financial configurations of Business Central uh, with some additional components provided by um, EAV on ProBatch. All right, so let's go into Business Central and take a look at a couple things here. One thing to note is um, company setup. So we do have the ability to set up unlimited numbers of companies. Uh, each of these companies is uh, independent from the other one. So we can have different setup and configurations. Um, we do have the ability to um, uh, really synchronize data between those in terms of master data setup if needed, but they can be run uh, independent from uh, one another. All right, let's look at uh, briefly at the general ledger setup um, and highlight a few components there. So general ledger setup allows us to configure um, really the local currency, first of all, for the company. So each company can have a different currency. They don't need to be consistent across the, um, across the different companies. We do have a localized uh, address format for the company. So depending on what uh, region of the world you might be operating in, that address format is going to be a little bit different. The address localization format also can be applied to customers and vendors. So as you're working with international trading partners uh, or international uh, customers, uh, multinational customers, those address formats can change uh, for those as well. And then Business Central does have the capability to do uh, different localizations regarding tax uh, configuration. So we can get you more information on that if needed as well. All right, in terms of intercompany setup, um, what we do is we also have intercompany partnership def definitions. So um, each company that's set up inside of Business Central does not need to be part of the intercompany relationship setup. Um, so you can determine uh, what those relationships look like. Um, and then each um, parent, child, or um, originating destination company have their own configuration capabilities. So um, the ability to determine the do to, do from account, uh, and um, setup can be unique for each company. The intercompany uh, processing covers uh, GL transactions. It also can um, be used with ARAP uh, in terms of a single sales invoice with distributed revenue, a single uh, payables invoice with distributed expenses. We also can perform, if you look here, the customer and vendor um, arm's length transactions to create a a corresponding sales order purchase order relationship uh, across different companies. And then the multi-company um, setup does uh, support the currency translation between those uh, different entities if needed. Okay, in terms of a uh, little bit of uh, currency um, information, currency is available uh, in Business Central. Unlimited number of currencies can be set up. Uh, typically what we would do is configure the currency service to download exchange rates automatically for you. So there are uh, mechanisms to do revaluations and that uh, sort of thing, but um, at a transaction level, um, it allows you to get uh, the most current exchange rates set up. Um, transactions can be performed in the local currency of the company. Um, we can also change that currency for translations through the payables of the sales cycle. So if I'm buying from a vendor in a different currency than I'm operating in, or I'm selling in a different currency, um, the currency is available there. Pricing for uh, vendors as, and customers can be currency specific, or you can just do a translation. So uh, fairly flexible in how that works. Under the company setup, we also have the ability to change language. Um, so if you have uh, users that are operating in a different language, um, this will change the user interface to be in uh, a different language. There are some extensions that allow um, additional languages to be downloaded um, if you need those, if you want those into the system. All right, from a financial reporting perspective, um, Business Central will maintain, based on your chart of accounts configuration, um, balance sheet, cash flow, income statement, and equity position statement for you. I'm just going to open up an income statement. You, you can create whatever statements you want aside from that, but um, all the statements can be run based on any date range you want. So this is some just date base intervals, although this um, date can be overridden and you can run a report based on any date range you want. Financial reports are really constructed around a row column concept. So the row format would be um, uh, an account, a range of accounts, etc. Column is a description, net change, budget variance like you see here. We can calculate uh, prior period, prior year, prior budgets, all that sort of information. These transactions are drilled down enabled. So I'm going to drill to the GL account that makes that up. And then I can drill into the net change and look at the GL transactions um, that make up the balance of this particular account for the date range that corresponds to the report I'm running. 
the find entries then would allow me to drill into um, the the detailed transactions, the source transactions behind these journal entries. So if I wanted the full GL transaction, if I wanted the sales invoice, if I wanted to see payments, tax information, uh, inventory valuation information, that would all be available um, through the find entries transaction. So back to the source modules, uh, if you will. We do have budgets in the system, so the supporting of multiple budgets. Um, both the budgets and the GL transactions capture what we call a dimensional value, so that would be um, a sub-account structure, um, things that you would want to run financial reports for. So those could be maybe department or division, territory, uh, product lines, uh, customer uh, type, that sort of thing. All those are types of dimensions that you could be um, running financial reports on. During the implementation of the system, um, we work with you to really determine what those uh, dimensions are going to be. You can set up as many as you need in your organization uh, and then run financial reports for those. Uh, general journal uh, transactions, um, obviously in the system, we've got recurring transactions, some allocations in the system um, at, a, at a GL level. Uh, inside of finance, we also have a fixed assets module that is integrated with purchasing um, and will create a depreciation entry for you as well. If we look at the purchasing cycle, and I'm just going to really hold it here, um, we have blanket purchase orders, purchase quotes, purchase orders, and purchase invoices. So the full purchasing cycle can be managed in the system. Um, the idea of a blanket uh, purchase order is I've got a commitment to a vendor, and then you would generate purchase orders, increments of purchase orders against that blanket, decrementing uh, quantity, dollar amount, etc. Purchase quotes would be a um, quote that you want from a vendor. Um, a purchase quote then can be converted to a purchase order. So no uh, re-keying of anything um, in that sense. Uh, purchase orders can be emailed to vendors. Um, so that's native inside of Business Central. Um, purchase invoices would be your traditional trade payables type transactions. It's also where the three-way match happens. So we support uh, three-way matching in the system. From a purchase uh, returns perspective, we do have a purchase return order. Uh, so this is just like a purchase order, except it is a shipment back to the vendor um, that can then create a credit memo. So full um, purchasing cycle purchases as well as returns um, are available inside of Business Central. Um, we do support currency throughout all these transactions as well. So uh, interacting either in the local currency that you're operating in or in the vendor's currency, not a problem. Um, all these transactions can be posted uh, through that way. We do have an incoming documents um, section. So this is um, OCR, optical character recognition, or AP automation certainly is something that we can do um, inside of the system. We do have the ability to have authorized vendors if that's something you need. Um, so if I've got an authorized vendor list to purchase a particular item, I can limit the vendors that I'm going to buy something from. We have the ability to do vendor lead times and vendor pricing by item. So if you want, and as I said before, that's also currency is, is available for that. Um, so if you want to set up future pricing, et cetera, that can be uh, managed inside of Business Central. Uh, and I talked about contacts uh, as well as the ability to email out. So that's just a brief overview of the, of the really high level in terms of the purchasing cycle. If we look at the sales cycle, uh, it's really a mirror image. So if we start with blanket sales order, sales quote, sales order, sales invoices, um, same types of transactions can be created from a, a sales perspective. So again, a sales order can be created against the blanket. We could take a sales quote and convert that to a sales order. Um, we do have full warehousing capabilities, uh, sales cycle as well as the purchasing cycle. So um, unlimited numbers of locations. We've got directed picks, directed putaways. We've got receiving uh, and shipping functionality. Uh, on both sides of the uh, purchasing cycle and the sales cycle. We do integrate with Dynamics 365 for sales. Um, so we have a, a companion video that talks more about uh, Dynamics 365 for sales. But in terms of integration points um, with uh, the native integration, it will integrate customers, contacts, items, pricing, um, as well as sales quotes and sales orders. So depending on if you wanted a quote to flow to Business Central or if you wanted a sales order to flow to Business Central, that's configurable. And then as the fulfillment is done inside of Business Central, Dynamics 365 for sales is being updated. So integrated across there for your sales team uh, and for the sales cycle. All right, we do support sales return orders, so a full RMA process. Um, warehousing is uh, enabled with a return order, so I can uh, receive uh, product back from my customer. 
This is all also integrated with the vendor return order, so I can take that product from my customer and then ship it back to the vendor, all tied together. Credit memos would just typically be just a, a credit against the customer's account, although those do support uh, inventory items as well. So if you're not getting the item back from the customer physically, but you want to record that it, it's coming back, you could do a credit memo for that. We do have uh, commissions uh, calculations as well as rebates. Uh, and just like we have authorized vendors, we also have authorized customers. So if you need to maybe certify customers or only certain products are available to certain customers, et cetera, um, we can do an authorized um, customer list uh, with our items. In terms of cash management and banking, uh, we support unlimited numbers of banks. Uh, we do electronically integrate with the bank depending on what your bank supports. We can generate um, uh, physical checks with Micker and coding out of Business Central directly. And then we do have the ability to do EFT uh, transactions directly out of Business Central. Other file uh, uh, exports out of Business Central would be positive pay, and then we can import bank statements for bank reconciliation. Business Central does have a cash flow module. Uh, it will look at all of your AP, AR transactions. Uh, you can do scheduled uh, expenses, receipts, um, and then do a, a cash flow forecast. Cash flow forecasting data can be integrated into the financial reporting area uh, as well if needed. So hope that gives you a, a broad overview uh, of the financial areas that do integrate with uh, Business Central and the Avion ProBatch. Um, system is real time, so as inventory, as manufacturing transactions are posted, they're posted through to the general ledger. So all integrated um, and all connected uh, together. All right, follow us on LinkedIn um, to find future webinars and events. Uh, you can look at our resources page on our Stone Ridge website to find links to more um, educational content, uh, more videos, blog posts. And if you want to talk uh, really to us about any topic, uh, uh, shoot us an email, solutions at stoneridgesoftware.com. Uh, we will find a team member to follow up uh, with whatever question that you might have.